whenever you ask anyone, what do you think about when you have a Kofberg in your hand, they think of, I'm outside with friends, um, enjoying the sunshine. So we really wanted to bring that to life, and the way that we've done that is with the strategic platform of Outside Is Ours. Like the sunshine. Human beings taking ownership of the outside space. I need your loving. The Crayon team, uh, Toby and Lewis, that sort of stumbled across this amazing metaphor of kites literally coming to life outside. Kites cannot fly they, without wind. As soon as they said that to me, I was like, that's the one, you know, that's a, a brilliant sort of simple metaphor of literally how we as people and how visually we can sort of dramatise this without holding a mirror up to the audience. We started off as, uh, you know, this really underground brand. Our creative reflected that back in the earlier days. There were campaigns that were in the hidden dark nightclubs and, and completely reflected that. But going from there, we still need to be aspirational, but how do we appeal to a, an audience that is now a mass audience um, in, in a unique and interesting way? Um, and I suppose this is where we've got to with the Outsiders as Ours campaign. Um, a campaign that is still aspirational, is still exciting, is still interesting, but at the same time uh, is inclusive and brings people together. Both in strategy as well as in the creative. Like uh, Kopperberg is now a global brand, so we didn't want to root it in something that was traditionally Swedish or looks traditionally Swedish, whether it's a pine forest or, you know, red cl wooden clad building houses. And that we wanted to get to the sort of almost bucket list sort of location. And we finally ended up in um, this place called Cedarburg. The location is incredible. It sort of has that sort of wild west feeling, incredible rock formations, beautiful big skies. Um, and again, just looks slightly otherworldly, which sort of was the perfect canvas to have these kites flying in. There's one massive factor that is completely out of all of our control, which is the wind. I did at one point think that we weren't going to get the last shot. The wind had completely died and that was when we had the drone down on the set, we had all the cast members, uh, three cameras going and the wind had gone completely and I could just I feel like the blood draining out my face as I was like this isn't going to happen but luckily we got a last gust of wind, managed to grab that all in 10 minutes and it, it worked out perfectly. It makes me quite comfortable moving away from the Swedish, overt Swedishness uh, to a situation now where you know, we're no longer this Swedish brand, so to speak, but we've moved into, into a place where we are now inclusive um, and yeah, we, we can be anywhere. <laughs>